Good evening, everyone. It is Sunday, September 10th, and I'm here with my earrings every day challenge. I'm doing day, um, let me think here, nine, which was yesterday, day 10, which is today's, and day 11, which is tomorrow's, because I will not have time to do tomorrow's tomorrow. Um, so I'm doing the three days. And um, I'm going to show you two of them. I'm going to show you what the inspiration piece was and then what I made. Um, you're kind of looking at them, but I'll go through them. So day nine, we were to make these earrings with chain and then uh, like a bead link across and hooked on an ear wire. So using my bargain bead box that I got on Saturday, um, these were the little, I'm sorry, I'm going to try and adjust this again. The little um, emerald color Chinese crystal bicones and then the little uh, gold pieces that were in there. I'm not sure which way the light would be better. Maybe there. Um, the chain was in the kit. So the only thing I provided was a piece of wire to do this link, um, two jump rings, and actually I provided these ear wires this time. So the beads and the chain came from the organ bead box kit. And I, I don't know, this light is just bad. Anyway, there will be pictures at the end. I've already taken the pictures of them. So that's pair number one. It is in gold chain. Um, then um, day 10 was this pair that Kimberly Kohler um, presented on Facebook. I just printed it for my own personal use. They are a longer chain. They appear to have chips and then little pieces of chain in between every chip. Um, I'm not, I can't wear and I also can't usually sell earrings that are that long. But I did longer than the, the first pair. So up here, I will bring them closer. I'm going to put them on the back of Debbie Vignola's um, lovely project share screen. This is what they look like. So I did silver chain this time. And the silver chain also was out of a prior um bargain bead box kit as was this little leaf bead um, the unikite and the cherry uh, quartz glass round, uh, faceted rounds were out of the one I received on Saturday bargain bead box from Saturday for September's box um, so the only thing I added was again some silver plated copper wire um, let's see two jump rings a head pin and um, ear wires out of my business stash. So I thought they came out really cute. Um, the inspiration piece did not have a dangle in here, but I just thought for the size and width of the earring, it looked empty. And so and I also did not put chain in between every bead. I did two beads, uh, three, three pieces of chain, then five pieces of chain, one bead over five pieces of chain, one bead over, three pieces of chain, and then ending with two beads again. I'm, um, my jewelry making style is very symmetrical. I don't know why that seems to be stuck there for a minute. Um, so, yeah, I don't have a tendency to do asymmetrical stuff. Sorry, there's just that piece of chain was, was looped around. Funny. So, anyway. That is day 10. Those are today's earrings. There, maybe you can see the colors better. The unikite is the green with pink, and then the cherry quartz is, of course, a pink and clear um, gem. Not gem. Glass bead. Okay, and lastly, um, I don't know if I can show you the inspiration. I'll try. Let's see, it's, um, it's these right here. 
um, its chain and then two pieces of wire attached. Um, they looked really long to me and I, like I said, I can do long but not super long. The super long earrings I have that I've made, um, a few have sold but not that many. Um, so I guess there's not that many uh, old hippies out there anymore that wear the long, long earrings. Anyway, I made one V out of wire. The chain again is from a prior bargain bead box stash and these ear wires were in my stash. So um, the wire and the ear wires and that's it. There's not even any, any jump rings. You just hook the chain directly onto the wire. The hardest part of this is getting these V's consistent in size and the chain length consistent um, and in my case these ear wires let me just show you something which I didn't realize until I was putting them together if you notice these ear wires all came in the same pack and I don't know if you can tell but this one has a lot longer little coil than this one it's about um, a third longer so when I first put these together, I had one of each on this pair and didn't realize it until I went to do this pair. I'm like, why is this longer? I measured everything exactly the same. Well, the reason it was longer is because the ear wire was messed up. It wasn't the same ear wire. So you really have to watch what you're buying. And even now, um, it, well, I guess they're, clo they're closer, but they're still not exact. So even store-bought, you get defective stuff sometimes, and you don't know it because they come in a pack or, you know, several pair, and um, you can't always see that when you're looking at them. Anyway, those are my three pairs. This is day 11, which, which is for tomorrow. It's um, silver-plated copper, and uh, the chain is not. It's probably a steel, silver-colored steel. Day 10, which is today's, is Unikite Cherry Quartz and Silver Plated Copper and probably Silver Colored Steel Chain. And then uh, Gold Colored Chain and Silver Plated Copper Ear Wires and Wire. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed um, what I made for my Earrings Every Day Challenge. I probably will not be back with more... Um, because the next few days are going to be so hectic. Um, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know. I may be able to do two on late Tuesday and two on late Thursday or Friday. I don't know. I may end up with four pair on Friday because I just, I have a really busy week ahead. All right, guys, have a wonderful rest of the evening um, and the rest of the week. And um, again, prayers and well wishes go out to all the people in Florida. I have a, an ex-stepdaughter in Florida, and I messaged her today, and she said they did not evacuate. They hunkered down. They're a little more inland, but then the last I saw, Irma was coming up inland, <laughs> and there were hurricane watches so I don't know I'm still concerned but then I saw a picture of the roads um, and how jammed they were and she may be right that they're safer in where they are staying put and just bolting everything down so hopefully they will be okay and hopefully all of those of you um, out there will be okay and your families and friends um, in any of the weather affected areas i just this has just been a terrible year uh, it's terrible late summer early fall season here all right that's enough of that have a great week guys try to and um yeah hugs and love bye